Good afternoon everyone, it's Friday afternoon, it's 12.30 which means we've got a brand new launch for you but we don't have just one launch, we actually have two for you this week. We are being treated especially, especially, special this week. <laughs> Get my words all muddled. Um, so we have got the lovely Sam Calcott with us waiting in the wings to do some amazing demonstrations because we're launching two made to surprise collections. So we have got the double sliders and we've also got the everyday pop-ups. Now these are going to work really really well with your previous collections that you've had from Sam and of course with your other existing stash that you have in your craft room. Not only that we are giving away prizes of course there are three chances to win as there always is on a Friday afternoon we're going to pick three winners at random from the comments wherever you are watching from so please make sure you are commenting even if you just say hello hi where you're watching from how much you love Sam's new collection so I'll say a quick hello to a few of you now before I forget um so uh, hello to Avril Vickery hello to Rachel Dye hello to Alexandra We've got Benita, we've got Terry, Lynn Clifton, uh, Rena. I don't know why I read some first names and some first and second. It just sort of rolls off. Um, Duska said, hello, Sam. Um, you, Sam, you're probably going to have loads of people from uh, people who usually watch you on your social media as well. Names that we don't recognise. So hello to anyone who's new to Craft Stash today. Um, hello to Marta, hello to Michaela. I will go through and read as many comments as possible and I'll try to answer or read out the questions while Sam is demonstrating. Shall we quickly go across to Sam straight away and say hello to her? Because I know you're waiting to see her and she's blonde today. <laughs> oh, so we were so talking about your hair colour, <laughs> weren't we? I, I love it. I love it. Every, you suit every colour. It's amazing. Uh, I think hi, that's Sam. the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. I love them all. So I'm just like always changing. Even my family don't even know what colour my hair is. <laughs> <laughs> What's that this week? Um, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, it's been a mad week, making yes. loads of demos, just planning everything. When stuff's got to go out. Yeah, yes. it's just. Of course, it's you've been fun. obviously you've been on TV this week, so you've been um, getting ready for that. You've been preparing your demonstrations for today, and and of course, there's always more collections in the pipeline that you need to be designing as well. Well, we hope there's more anyway. Yes, so, there's um, plenty. <laughs> Yay, good. I'm glad to hear it. So the two new collections, I'm going to, if that's all right with you, run through the first one for everybody. And then I'll come to you to run through the double slider collection, if that's okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's cool. Amazing. Okay, fantastic. So we will see you in just a moment. So, as I said, we have got two collections. I have got the everyday pop-ups here on my desk. Now, for this, we have got an amazing offer. If you are, let me come down to the desk. Can you also let me know, everybody, if you can hear me okay, if you can see me okay, and the same for Sam, because, of course, Sam is coming through video call, and occasionally um, we have problems with the sound, so I just want to make sure you can all hear her. So I'll keep an eye on the comments as much as possible. So this is the everyday pop-ups collection. The, um, the deal that you're going to get with this is absolutely amazing prices on everything individually anyway, as we always get on Craft Stash. But then you've also got, uh, if you buy the entire bundle, now I'll show you what a bundle is in a moment. If you buy any one of the two bundles available on Craft Stash, you're going to get a whopping 25% off. And I know some of you have already been purchasing and taking advantage of that discount. So I don't know how long these are going to hang around. I'm just checking the comments and make sh making sure, do, 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 I can't see that anyone's having any problems with the sound this week, which, yay! Uh, Melanie said, Sam, how many pens? So I'm guessing Sam's got lots and lots of pens behind her, like any craft room. So what we've got is the Everyday Pop-Ups Mechanism. Now this is a two-in-one die as such because it's going to fit your six by six and your seven by seven cards. Don't worry, Sam's going to demonstrate everything for you or as much as possible in the hour to be able to show you how it all works. Um, but you've got the two sizes of mechanism in here really I'd say basic mechanism but actually to do this yourself it's going to take a lot of measuring scoring die cutting are you getting it the right size and everything so she's taken all that hard work away from you then once you've got your mechanism it comes down to the decoration and that's what we've got here so we have the perky pooches first of all so we have the stamp and die set now you can see the stamps really clearly there they're lovely big stamps they're going to fit perfectly with both your size cards I really can't wait to see what Sam creates with these because her cards are phenomenal every time we see one and then you've got the outline dies as well to cut out those stamped images but 
Besides the perky pooches, we also have the cute kittens. Now I know you've put Sam in a bit of a spin this morning. I believe earlier she asked you on social media, which should she demonstrate during the hour? And it was a 50-50 split. So I've got a feeling she might have to do both the cute kittens and the perky pooches in one card. That's a challenge for her. But the cute kittens are adorable, of course. You've got lots of elements in here. Not only the cat, you've got the bowl, you've got the sentiments, but then you've got things like your background. You've got your rope toy there as well. So lots of different elements you can build up to make scenes. You don't have to use these with the pop-up uh, mechanism either, of course. You can use them completely separately. We've then, of course, got a paper pad. I will run through this. I'll give you a flick through this a little bit later, I think, while Sam's preparing for her second demo to give her a little bit of a break. But we do have an 8x8 pad. You know the quality that you're getting with Sam's paper pads. They are beautiful, bright, vivid colours. 180 GSM, like I say, we'll go through that in more detail in a little while. And I'm in love with this stencil as well. So we've got almost like a cobbled uh, or block paving effect, but it can look like fabric, you know, entirely what you want it to be depending on the colours you use. And then, of course, you've seen it, the wood grain. So, so popular wood grain. And you can use it across so many different themes as well. Now, a bundle is always going to be, the big bundles that you're going to get the 25% off is all three of these and either the cute kittens or the perky pooches you choose the cats or the dogs if you want to you could go for a bundle and then you can get the other two items in a mini bundle as well then they don't have that 25 percent discount off but they are still reduced on craftstash.co.uk at the moment okay if you don't have time to stay with us if maybe you've got to shoot off because it's your end of your lunch break or something you can catch back later over on youtube so make sure you go and subscribe or you can come and see us on craftworld.com now sam are you ready for a first oh no we need to see the other collection are you going through the collection or demonstrating first Oh, perfect lovely okay we will do that then thank you sam i'm up in the corner i'm like a little angel sitting on your shoulder <laughs> stroke devil i should have two okay. of me shouldn't I? um <laughs> while you're doing that i will go into um the comments and have a look for you okay so for anybody that hasn't yet seen what those cards will look like i have them here so this is the cute kittens so it will go on to a six by six this is the additions i'm going to talk about the dies on their own in a moment and then you just pull the tab and up pop in this case we've got three and this is sophie meg and bt which are my nan's cats or the cats that she's had so that was my inspiration for that one then I've done it again here. I've just got the red. This was actually the one I'd done on Hachanda on the launch there. And then this one here, I've just done single little kitty them. cat there with the one at the bottom. And you can see the blanket here, and this will create your basket. And then for the puppies, so I've got a couple of doubles here because, again, they were kind of ones that I had to make again for other demos. But you can see there we've got just the grass. Um, I haven't put the kennel behind this one. And I've actually used my party props. So anybody who's got the party props yes. for Christmas, they will work on these cute little uh, dog and cat. And then you can see here with the kennel in the background, and then you've got a different little pooch popping up there with all his little toys and his friend. And lovely little puns there as well. Have a porcelain birthday to my bona fide friend. <laughs> I They're love just them. They're fun, aren't they? <laughs> they are brilliant. I just absolutely love them. I can't wait to see what you make with them as well. I've also put this one together very quickly oh. before I've done my Chanda launch. I'm actually going to re-change a few bits, but I'm going to do it with the cats as well. But it is like a spin kind wow. of um, card, and it's got a stand on the back. So it just shows you, you can create fun cards just with the stamps and That's just, fantastic. you know, a few circle dies and stuff. You know, it's, it's quite fun. So I've got my demo already here. I'll show you how a few bits work. So with this one here, this, if anybody's familiar with the Christmas one, what happened was if we'd done this and then you had the Christmas Santa and Elf and stuff with it. And what we found is a lot of people were using this on their own with their, with their own stash. So we thought, let's start doing the dies that do the mechanisms mm -hmm. on their own so that then you can add them onto, you know, whatever yeah. you want to do. So um, you have the five by seven and the six by six together. But unfortunately, on the back here with the purple dot, we have the instructions as if it was for the Christmas oval. So ignore that because you don't have that in here because the whole point is that you will use this. If you just buy this on its own, you'll use it with whatever you have. Because this piece here, for example, the grass mm -hmm. or the basket, 
that can be any shape that can be anything you want you i said in one of the demos you might have like a a car or some kind of toy you might be doing a child's toy um themed uh, card and you could have whatever it is popping out from behind that so you can stick whatever you want on the front this mechanism will then allow you to have whatever you want popping out of it so ignore that little uh, bit on the back if anybody yeah, does read just... instructions. Me and Lou were saying I don't think anybody does, so I know I don't. No, I prefer to watch a video demonstration and that's what we come here yeah. for, isn't it? I am very, I'm very much a, um, a visual person. Okay, so you've got your five by seven card blank. So this is just a shop brought one here. And you want, I just want to say hello as well to everybody. There's so many regulars that I see. Thank you all for joining. Um, yeah, and I've been loving reading all the messages that I've been receiving and emails. So thank you so much. Aww. Okay, so you'll have your six by six and you'll know the, the pulley to go with it because it's the same height. And then you've got your five by seven again. That's got the taller pulley to go with it. So okay. we're going to have the five by seven one. Um, Seems I've simple enough. There, never reads the instructions. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Um, I mean, Kay Rogers has said it's a great idea to do the mechanisms on their own. I think these are going to be popular. Yeah, um, with the when I talk about the double sliders in a moment, it's just so nice. Even for me, I want to be able to use this with other things as well, yeah. for other like floral things and having a bouquet pop up or something. So yeah, it's endless. Okay, um, what I've done first of all is I've die cut the main piece here onto a piece of grey cardstock, and what it will do is it will perfectly cut these two slots for you, which you'll then need for your pulley. And that is what we're going to feed through here. So I've already die cut the pulley. And do you know what? I think, oh no, I have done. No, I've die cut the six by six. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I made a little boo boo on the um, Chanda live. So um, I'm going to go with it. You're, it. It will still pop yeah. up. I don't know how far. Let's see. Let's see what happens. There okay. we go. Anyway, Experiment. you want to do two of those. It just makes it a little bit stronger. Unless you're starting off with a heavyweight cardstock. Um, then you might be fine with just the one, but I've die cut two there. So what you're going to do is you're going to feed it through the top here, like so. And you're going to come down and then you're going to go out through the bottom, just like that. OK, so what I'm thinking I might have to do, I might have to do, do a little um, extension on this, but it should be fine. Then you want to choose your little pooch or kitten now, because literally i was looking at the comments and it was just kitten kitten pooch 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 yep. kitten dog cat and i'm thinking okay i'm gonna have to do both so i'm gonna have the kitten popping out and i'm gonna have the pooch playing in the grass so oh. they're gonna be they're gonna be playing together so i've got cats like, and dogs and, and they get on so well <laughs> they do chase each other around the house <laughs> so i thought yeah we'll do that now i'm just gonna check because what i may have to do because i've used the shorter one is I'm just gonna, yeah, I'll just stick her down. It's still gonna work. I'm just gonna stick her down a little bit lower. So what you will do, whatever you're sticking onto here, you wanna just run a very thin amount of glue or some red, very thin red tape. The thinner the glue, the thinner the tape, the more of the image is gonna pop up. So I'm just gonna pop a very, very thin piece of glue there, a bead of glue. And then I'm just gonna have to stick her just a little bit lower than I usually would. But what you'll wanna do, whatever it is, you'll stick right along the bottom so it's okay. lined up with it. But I'm just gonna bring her down just a little bit so I can get her hiding behind that grass because obviously I cut the wrong one. And whatever you've got, so you know, this might not be grass shape, this could be just a normal square, it might be um, a star shape. Just make sure, hover over whatever it is that you're trying to cover and just make sure it's concealed when that's pushed down. And that way you know that it's all gonna be hidden away before the person pulls the tab okay so now when i pull her up you'll see she's gonna pop up from the grass now before i stick all that down i'm going to talk about this and the stamps so with the the grass one you get this lovely big grass mm -hmm. stamp here which i've already let's bring in my board here because i've got some bits and pieces that i just want to ink and show you how they stamp so what i've done is I've cut the grass using the die in the set here. So you'll see it on the back. So this is why we've done the addition. So this piece would obviously cover, like I'm gonna do now, with the cat you have the large rectangle and Lovely. the top piece here for the basket. So I've die cut the grass as normal, but then I've also just die cut the top of it and just trimmed it off because I wanna have the double layer of grass so I can have the puppy hiding in amongst it. So what I've done here, um, do that bit in a minute so i've already got the you can see how big that stamp is so this is lovely for using on other cards if you like to create your own backgrounds yeah. 
and um you know just do other especially for spring now as well that look really nice yeah with some nice like floral scene doesn't it feel more spring like today or it certainly is here anyway it was so sunny early i was trying to do intros for the videos that i've put up today and the sun (laughs) was blinding so it seems to have been it's settled a bit now but it's still lovely it's lovely so this stamp will line up perfectly with the top of this die so the blades of grass are the same now i don't really want to get my head in shot but i'm going to just i know what it's, it's like. easy it's easy to see but i'm just gonna hover that over there i think that's about right and then just get that one stamped down yeah perfect and then all i'm doing is just kind of just gonna place it down really randomly it doesn't matter if it overlaps because it's the grass it's meant to look Mm -hmm. you know it's random isn't it exactly and i'm just going to keep doing that i love that can i just answer a question quickly yeah well two things um firstly there is no code for the 25 percent off the bundle that is going to be reduced for you already so you just need to pop that in your basket and i would suggest check out quick because i so many of you are on here saying i've got the cats i've got the dogs i've got both so be really really <laughs> quick and um, secondly not a question but just so you know if you've been trying to watch over on youtube i think there's been an issue with connecting with youtube this afternoon um what we'll do if it's not going to connect um while we're live then we will upload the video on there so if that's how you use usually like to watch by all means you can stay with us here now uh we will put it up on youtube a little bit later for you okay so i just covered that and i've done a little bit of like second generation stamping so that's if anybody's unfamiliar you just great put the initial link on stamp it down and then stamp again straight away and you'll just get a little bit more of a fainter Mm -hmm. um image so you can see that's all covered and then i just like to grab a blending brush and then just go around the edges I always like to, when I'm using the grass, go for a lighter green and then go in with a darker green and then it would just give you like a nice natural highlight. You can see through nice. the middle of that. Lovely. And all that is is just the original card colour. It's not, it's, it's just easy to add some depth to your, yes. you know, your backgrounds and stuff without actually doing that much. <laughs> so, <laughs> Someone's got a nice. great idea for these. Um, yeah. So Marta said she wonders if it will fit a gift card. So it'd be a nice surprise to hide in the card and then you lift up and sort of the gift card would come up with it, maybe. Funny, Marta said that someone actually shared that at Christmas time on my on the group oh. that I have. And um, and that's, you know, it's those kind of things that made me start to think, you know, people are using this for other reasons. So let's, you know, do it as a, a separate piece. And then, you know, yeah, there go we go. for it. Well done. Yeah, Marta. Brilliant idea. Really, really good idea fantastic one i should try okay and uh, now what we're going to do is stick this piece down so i've just got some foam here just one little strip i'm going to use the foam so that the puppy can you know sit behind it so i'm just running it along the bottom there and then make sure everybody you're uh, liking and sharing and tagging your friends as well because of course we are going to be giving away there's over 100 pounds 105 pounds worth of product we're going to give away to three random viewers that's so. amazing that's so good i wish <laughs> i could enter the competitions again. <laughs> i know i know i want to enter all of them can't do it anymore okay now what i've done here so i cut you want to cut four of these pieces which are for the kennel so just here okay and then you'll get the stamp so you can have a, a wood grain effect if you want but i'm going to use the stencil that you can also use and you can see there i've done those ones and just pick different parts of the wood grain just to give you you know a different look and then we're just gonna you could use your um any kind of stencil fixatives and stuff just to place it down but it's you know it's a small piece i'm just going to of course um just dab over it while for you're now. doing that somebody's asked what the color green is that you use do you know off the top of your head what oh, the name um, of it was? I am going to say, I'm just looking at that, I think it possibly is Tonic Studio, okay. but I don't know the, I don't know the colour, it could be like, like an apple, did they have a colour called like apple green or something? Um, You're I'm me. so sorry, I'm really bad with that because I take everything out of the packaging and then I just put it I'm in the with same. all the rest. <laughs> yeah. Right, next we want to go back to this, so I'm going to get rid of that. So you can see now we've got that lovely wood grain effect. Right, so first of all, I've, done, I've cut two of the triangular pieces and I've done it in blue, so it's kind of representing the sky. You can see those two there. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to grab my glue, 
which is probably blocked. Let's just get rid of the jingle. <laughs> Do you know what? Every jingle. single demonstrator, myself <laughs> included, gets a glue blockage on every show. <laughs> it, All the time. It, it's just one of those things. It just happens. Yeah. So you want to pop these, they fit perfectly into each corner. Just put it right up there, like so. And then... What are your favourite uh, markers or pencils or whatever you use to colour? Sam. These are using these were using coloured pencil pencils and I actually use some pencils called Black Widow pencils oh. to colour these. Oh there we go. Uh, Marie Bland asked what markers it was. So it wasn't markers, it was pencils. Yeah, no, I've actually used coloured pencils for these. But I've got all different ones. I've got some tonic like nouveau ones. I've got <laughs> I've got a literally I've got all sorts. So oh, there's any should... most of the crafting companies now all have good alcohol markers. Yeah. Um, so you should you should be able to find some nice ones out there. Okay, then you want to get two of these, and I'm actually just going to put the glue just below one of the blue pieces there. And you're going to pop this behind. Okay. And you want to make sure kind of the point sits kind of in the middle of that square there. Right. And just bring it down like so. Okay. And then get the next one. Yeah, I'm just going to put the glue there. At least that way you know it's not going to stick out. And then you just want to pop this piece just behind there and again just make sure you've got that same amount you have the same overhang and you just want to get a little point at the top there so you can see we've got that piece mm -hmm. I always do this in the wrong order you want to put the sides on really next but you can still just pop them under so you're then just gonna your glue will be wet for a there. short while won't yeah you? it's fine just lay it down along the side there like so and just line it up with the side of the card and then again this one, just pop that one under there. Yeah, still the glue's not quite dry, like so. But that's now all in place. Perfect. And then we want to grab the grass, and you just want to run some foam down the side. So again, whatever it is that you're having as your piece to hide whatever's popping up, just pop what it on a little bit foam, of foam. Sam? Sorry. Oh, this is this is just off of the. I just put it on a piece of wax paper. Ah, okay. Um, I thought it was very quick. Just, yeah, just cut strips of it. Um, I do have some strips as well, which I'll be um, using in a minute. I actually got them off of that well-known site that begins with an A. I don't know. Do we say other brands on here? I'm not sure if we do, but um, yeah, if we don't, anyway. if we don't do it on Craft Stash, yeah, but, from Amazon. Yeah, but there's a lot of adhesives, obviously, on Craft Stash. There anyway. are absolutely tons. Yeah. So check them out. Makes me wonder how many there actually are. I put it in the search. So there's probably like 300. I'm just going to pop some glue back on those ends there, just so that's not. There we go. So uh, Anne Cups has asked, "How long is it till Mother's Day?" Because this this would make a fab <laughs> present for her. I'm not sure actually. Uh, uh, yeah, when is it? I'm really bad. I know it's coming up in the next few weeks. It's March, isn't it? It's March. Yeah. Easter's beginning okay. of. April. Sorry, no, you okay. <laughs> just laid that down over the top there. So now you can see. Once we stick this to the card, hey. she's all hidden. She's she would come up higher. I've obviously put the six by six on there, but it just it still shows it you. It still works. She's working fine, no problems at all. And then let's build our scene on the front. So I'm going to pop a couple of foam pads on the back of our little pooch. Fourteenth so hopefully... March. Thank you, Debs. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> oh, someone said fifteenth. Oops. <laughs> Okay, which one? <laughs> uh, someone else said, oh, 14th. A few people are saying 14th, so around <laughs> the middle of March. <laughs> okay, so I've popped him just behind the grass there, and then I'm going to pop to my bona fide friend. It's going to go along the bottom, oh. like so. And then let's grab all of my goodies here. So I'm going to mix the two, So because we've got the dog and the, the um, cat. So you have here, like, the bone you've got the little ball um you know toys i don't know the exact name of those toys you've got the food bowl there so i'm just going to mix in the two and again you can see in the cat here you've got the little mouse um you've got the ball of yarn the yeah. fish scales there so i'm just gonna pop a few of these in let's have a little rosette now you can put the rosette on the top there if you want in fact i'll do that on oh, this that's one that's a nice idea because yeah because i haven't i say it and then i've not done it so i'm going to stick the rosette on the top there which looks really oh. cute and so then you've let's got grab... lots there haven't you that you've already colored in and cut out yeah i done um 
when I got it all, I, I spent a day just literally coloring everything, wow. cutting it all. So it's all ready now for when I do all my other tutorials. Yes. And just when I just want to create, yeah. it's nice to have it all ready. Oh, yeah. So, You're so organized. <laughs> let's have the, the yarn there as well. I want to find the little... Um, oh, here we go. We've got the little mouse. Let's grab the mouse and maybe have him... We have it confirmed the the from kennel. Craft Stash. It's been confirmed. It's the 14th of March. So you have <laughs> just over two weeks, everyone, to get your Mother's okay. Day things created. Okay. And then all you need to do now is attach it to your card base. So flip it over. So this could go on any sh any uh, style of card, couldn't yeah. it? Easel. And again, it's yeah, it's great for uh, mini albums as well. Oh, of course. Yes. That'd be lovely to have some pages. journaling in there. Yeah, definitely. It looked really nice, wouldn't it, on a journal. You could have um, someone else, they use real photos of family members popping up. Oh, brilliant. Um, yep, love that so, idea. So, yeah, it's just really fun. And now, oh, pop that over here and you'll get a nice border, like so. Don't go too close to the mechanism if you're using a liquid glue, because you don't want anything to interfere with that. Oh, now, I love it. Oh, it just looks so have... professional as well. Cute. <laughs> That's amazing. I absolutely love it. So that, that is... is how you do the. Well, it's the same for the six by six. So that's how you put them together. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sam. We'll come back to myself okay. uh, while you get yourself have a rest and <laughs> get yourself set up for another demonstration. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm just opening for you the paper pad because I did promise you a little peek through this and I don't think Sam used any of it. So if you just come down to my desk, I'll have a little a little closer look at the paper pad and then I've got a few more things to let you know about while Sam gets ready for the second launch. So this is the Everyday Pop-Ups paper pad. Everything you've just seen Sam demonstrate is from the Everyday Pop-Ups collection. Uh, with the bundle, you're going to get 25% off if you buy any one of the two larger bundles over on Craft Stash today so look at these they, they smell amazing Sam this is really good quality paper and I do judge that by how nice or how much it smells it's lovely so you've got the the pale blue here with the outlines of the cats on you've got all the different types of paws with their paws up hands up I love these I'm a cat and a dog owner so paws are just so cute uh, you've got both cats and dogs in here with the hearts you could snip those away. You've got bones, you've got fish bones in there, paw prints, little hearts. These are beautiful, Sam. They're going to work really well as backgrounds, but of course you can snip small elements out from those as well. Now, I've got a few other things to tell you about. In fact, I know you're getting ready, Sam, but I don't know if you're watching the screen, if you can see comments coming through and things. Yep. I'm going to put a few things up on the screen for you. Now, this is a new launch from Pink Ink Designs. They've got three new stamps released now, and they're really fun because you know, Sam, how when you've done, sort of like you've done Horace and everyone, you've named some of your characters. Well, Pink Ink have named the last three stamp sets, which are really, really good fun. Um, would you like to have a little quick guess at a few of these names? Uh, everyone else can guess as well. So we've got some horses here. Now, what fun name might you call uh, horses if you were naming them, Sam? Um, I don't know, Harry? Ah, ah, well done. This is Mustang Harry. <laughs> well, you're cleverer than me. Um, this one here is the new one as well. Obviously, these are cards made with the stamps. Um, I don't know if you'll get this one. So. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, what would you call a sheep? Well, Sean just comes to mind, but then you can, you know, if you're going to do the same as that well known Sean, the sheep. Um, mm. Shane? <laughs> it's a lady. It's a lady sheep. <laughs> it's. Susan. Susie. It's Barbara. Barbara. Uh, that's my attempt at a bar, everyone. And lastly, what would you call this cow? Please read the sentiment carefully. It's not what you immediately think. Okay. Um, God, I don't, I don't know. I can't see it. It's not come up yet. Oh, sorry. I'm a, there's, sorry. The cow is called Buttercup. How cute is that? So they are three new, thank you for your input there, Sam. They are three new pink ink design stamps. They are absolutely beautiful. Make sure you check them out because they do go very, very quickly. So I just wanted to let you know about those. Um, a couple of other things I want to let you know about as well. Sentimentally Yours has just launched their second birthday celebrations. Now, there are items over on Craft Stash. I'm just reading, there's so much detail here. Um, so there is a 
alcohol marker pen set offer. If you buy the alcohol marker pen set, which would be absolutely perfect for you colouring in your stamped images that you're getting with your mate to surprise cats and dogs here, you're going to get the canvas storage bag for free. I mean, that's an amazing offer anyway. Check that out. That is actually in a banner on the homepage on craftstash.co.uk. And across the weekend, there are other birthday offers. So make sure that you are signed up to the Craftstash emails. So you do get those offers dropped into your inbox first thing in the morning for you. And it's only once a day email as well. You're not going to be swarmed with them all day. I love to sit with my cup of tea and browse through all the new offers. Um, so apart from that, we have one more collection to launch for you, and that is now going to be the double slider. Now, Sam is going to run us through everything. Are you ready, Sam? Sorry, before I come back to you. Fantastic. So we'll come back to Sam. She's going to run us through everything and then take us through an amazing demonstration, hopefully. Thank you, Sam. Okay, cool. So um, we have launched the double sliders. So we've got a circle and a square. So these are the two main cards so these will give you if I just I've actually made this as a quadruple but it just to give you an idea that's how it would look if you had the square one for example you can create something as big as this you could just have the doubles which is what I'm going to show you today you can also have a triple so you just pull up another tab from the top or you could just have a single tab coming up from the top but by buying that that's what you'll be able to create so for those people that then like to use their own stash their own papers other collections you can you can you know decorate that how you want to Lovely. I love that. and then with that you then have additions so this is why it's nice for those that do want to make these exact cards you can have the option then to buy the additions now this edition will also work solely on its own so if you just like to make square cards or if you want to do more diorama tunnel those cards with depth then you can make these and I had a great sample which is with Hachanda but um, I do share that on my launch on my channel and you and I'm going to be making a tutorial doing it anyway but it's so nice using this and I, I used it with the circle ones as well but you have all these dies and you'll see them in a bit more detail when I do the circle one but just to give you an idea you can see just how big Wow, you know, you know, I can see are. that being used for any time of year as well. Yeah, it's it's a really love. I, I, I mean, I've you know, obviously designed them, but I've, <laughs> I've loved when you get them actually in your hand. It's really nice to then to really see what they can do. Of course. So that's the square, and then the circle one again will create what I've just showed you, and I'll show you some samples in a second. And then this is the addition one. And again, you've got these beautiful um, diorama kind of effects, these apertures. And when you add a sheet, sheet of acetate behind it, you can create shaker cards. It's just really nice. So again, if I just bring you this one here, you can see the gorgeous detail in this die. Wow, I so love you can that. Cut that. You can cut that right into the card, the, mm -hmm. the front of a six by six card. Yep. And, um, you know, have like a little bee or something floating in the middle of it. Oh. Or you can then use the circles on the outside. You get special friend sentiment with this one and happy birthday with the other one. Wow. And then we have the stamps to sit alongside this collection. But again, these can be purchased on their own. And you've got the woodland animals and woodland scenes. And you've just got really cute. I mean, you've got the deer there. These two I love together. You've got the little badger and the fox. You've got the pheasant and the owl, and then you've got really fun puns. Send in hedge hugs, wish you an amazing day. Have have a mice day. <laughs> Go nuts, it's your birthday. <laughs> and then you on this one. You've got owl. You need is love. You're a hoot. Um, Hello, Foxy. So there's some really nice ones on there. And again, you have the dies. Now the dies for both of these are within this one set. You can oh, see perfect. them all in the back there. All right, so they're all together. And then the paper pad is just adorable. It's the first time I've done a six by six, and it's this really oh. cute pad and you've got four scenes and then you've got two just pattern papers and you get six the six designs there four of each of those and they're just so fun so if you're someone that maybe struggles making your backgrounds you know mm -hmm. these are already done for you and you can just start building up in front of them and they look really nice with the dies and i'll show you that in a moment a couple right. of others there you can see that lovely one wow. and then you've got one of the pattern oh, that's papers fun. there yeah they're oh, really really nice there's so much you can do with this in fact yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Sam, I'm sorry, are you okay if I just interject for a moment? Yeah, sure. Um, um, that paper pad is actually available to you for free if you are spending yep. over £30 on this new double slider collection. Okay, so pop £30 worth of the double slider into your basket and you will get the option to put that paper pad in completely for free as well. So there's another offer for you. There's two offers on new collections today. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the demo with the circle one, but this is the square one. This is, if anybody watched me on Hachanda, this was the quickest shaker card that I made. <laughs> so you can see the shaker 
detail on the front and then I've layered up the trees mm -hmm. and then you just pull the sides. Oh. It's still quite plain. I need to add some sentiments here, but you can see that's the effect you'll get or you could pull another one up here. And they come with the stand in the set as well. Great. So you can then stand that up. It looks really nice displayed. And then you just push in the sides there and, and it's easy obviously to post. And again, for scrapbooking, for journaling, when you want to add hidden elements, these are going to be yeah. perfect. Well, you don't even have to, yeah, if you just want to have pull-out tabs, you can use the mechanism mm. in on any of your pages just to have pull-out tabs on your mini albums and things. So it's a really nice set. Again, this one here, I've, so that's using the scalloped, which is the addition set. This mm. one here, I've used just the plain square, which is from the, the, the main set. Mm -hmm. And I've given it a little bit of a beveled frame. Again, see the little toadstools? You've got the Aww. tree trunk there and the happy birthday sentiment. And then this one's an extension of the scene. So I've just die cut the trees there and actually stuck them onto that. And then you can see on the back there, and you can have hidden messages on here as well. If you want to do a Valentine's one, maybe oh, next okay, year. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a good reveal one as well. Maybe if it's, you know, baby reveal or something. So that's the square. And then these are the circle ones that I have. I'm intrigued and, with um, these. I, love, I just adore these so much. Again, these are my two together, special friend. And then you can call the sides there. They're such um, an unusual yeah. shape. I'm not in a bad way. They're beautiful, but there's something I've never seen before. Just really cute. And I've used some of my Nouveau drops on the, you know, mm -hmm. um, the sprigs there and stuff just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. And then this one I've gone crazy with pink. You don't have to do it in the colours of, of the woodland. <laughs> you know, and there's another extension there where I've used pattern papers. That's what I'm going to do today. So are we getting all of those matting and layering dies for the tabs as well? yeah so there. you get all of them in the gray the set Amazing. it's just this um foliage and all the detailed bits that come with the edition set mm -hmm. and then that one there is just more of a simple one with just that frame and again i've just um, Love extended it. the scene there so really really fun thoroughly enjoyed these so let's start making the circle one i need so to this ask time, sorry go on no go go <laughs> uh, i've had lo lots of comments and i don't want to forget everyone's asking me randomly where you got your little organizer tray from <laughs> Oh, this? I'm um, guessing, yes. Oh, uh, gosh. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe B&M, Home Bargains, somewhere like that. Yeah, <laughs> some sort of home store. Yeah. yeah, just in the storage section. It might have even been the pound shop, like for their kitchen, you know, like fridge storage. Ah, <laughs> oh, that does look like fridge storage, actually. Yeah, I think yes. it, I don't know, but it's nothing fancy. It was only a few pounds. It was I've had, had it for a, bit a while. Off topic. I'm sorry. I just, I had to answer. <laughs> so many people had asked. <laughs> That's okay. Right, so we're going to go for a nice bright blue today. Let me bring in the die so I can just talk through what you need to cut because I've already cut everything so you don't see me with my die cutting machine. So I'm going to flip this over. Let's take this one out here. Right, so these are all the dies, nice and big dies. So first of all, you want to cut one of the stand. So it looks like it's just a big long strip, but there's actually score lines along okay. here and we'll fold that and I'll talk about that in a moment. You'll see the big one there. Then you'll want to cut two of the mechanism, which is this one. Let's take it out of the plastic so in case there's any glare. Okay, so two of the mechanism, and it will cut these tracks into the cardstock for you. I've already got my second one ready here, and I've already attached one of the tabs to it. You'll then want to cut two of these long strips. You'll mm -hmm. need one for each of the mechanisms. And I have full tutorials in more depth um, on my YouTube channel. So again, if anybody's kind of thinking, I want this, but this is going fast. Um, if anybody's new, if you go to Mixed Up Craft on YouTube, that's my YouTube channel. And I've got full tutorials all ready to go up using this product, along with Craft Stash YouTube. They will have um, videos going up as well. Yes, Craft Stash, we have exclusive ones, don't we? Yep. And then we'll have a blog they post are up different soon. as well. They are different videos. So oh, you perfect. will see different, um, you know, just orientations like setups yep. and stuff like that great okay and of course craft world as well you've got a profile over there so oh yeah um, craft world people as well. need to find so you there too <laughs> <laughs> you're everywhere you won't be lost for inspiration put it no. that way um okay so we've done two of the mechanisms we've done the stand and then you want your circles to put it all together now it's up to you whether you want to do three circles that are the same size now when you've got this larger circle you can use that one but it will be slightly bigger and you won't have as much of this hanging out so we've made it so that that one is a perfect six inch circle if you want to do six inch circle cards and again okay. I'll be using that with the additions and in future but I've been using the next one down which is the thinner one and all three are different so they're easy for you to know so this is a very thin one and I've cut that one 
twice or you can cut it three times. The reason I say that is if you, you might want the middle one to be slightly smaller so maybe you can't see it so much. So I have done three the same size in I think my YouTube videos and on this one I've done the middle one as the next one down again. And that one's got a little kind of like um, dot detail around the edge. Lovely. So like I said, each each one is different so they're easy for you to know. Mm -hmm. But you should be able to see just the little dots just around there. So that's what I've got there. So I've got two, one for the front, one for the back. And then I have one for the middle, but that can be the same size as well. Then you want to cut your side panels. So I've got these ones ready to sit down. So I've got the largest one, which I've done in this blue color. And you'll want two of them or just one if you want one pull tab or three or four is entirely up to you. So I've got that. So I've done my two already. Then you've got your next size down, which is your layer or your mat layer. Mm -hmm. And that's got your stitch detail on it. And you can see that there. Lovely. And then I've then cut the pattern paper and when you do anything with an orientation make sure you cut one with this curve on the left side one with the curve on the right course, side yes. and so on depending on the orientation of your paper mm -hmm. but yeah i've done that twice as well so that's that all done so that's all of the dies the rest of the uh additions and we'll talk about those when we get to it so next we're going to go on to the mechanism so i've already got one of can those. i just so say something before you get started do? It looks yeah, like sure. there's two different people doing this demonstration with your arms on your jumper. Do you know what? I thought when I put this on, it wasn't until I was editing the video and I thought, people are going to think I have literally two different jumpers on. But there's <laughs> actually three different animal prints on this jumper. I do love an animal print. And it's I saw fun. The jumper, it's I was like, great. I need that jumper. So, yeah, I, now I see that it does look quite odd. <laughs> Okay, so you'll have your mechanism. So you want to make sure that you've got your tracks in a vertical um, orientation and you're going to feed this little tab through so it goes under one of the tracks and then you're going to go under the next track. Okay. If I just put my fingers under there, you can see that's where you want it to you're sit. weaving it. Yeah, exactly that. And I like to push it right up to the top so it's nice and straight. So you want to be working on this when it's nice and straight. And just make sure you've got a kind of even amount overhanging each side. Now, when I done the Chanda launch, I did do the, I stuck them all down using red tape. I think I'm going to do that again today, but you can use a glue. But if you use a liquid glue, like with any card that has a you know, mechanism in it, you can't have any of that glue oozing over the edge. So okay. I'll talk about that again in a minute, but I'm going to use the red tape just to show you, you only need a little amount. I'm just popping a piece on either end. Red tape is super sticky, isn't it? Yeah. That's all you need. So I've got a little bit there over, over each end and then just take the backing off and just let it fold naturally over that track. Don't pull it or anything like that. Just a nice, easy fold and then stick it back on itself like so. All right. So it's nice and easy. And then again with this one and then you're just going to stick it back over on itself just like so. And you want to do that on both the pieces. So that's mm -hmm. the one I've already done. Then again, with your red tape or glue, you'd put a very thin bead of glue along there. This is a three mil red tape. So um, if you've got something similar to that mm -hmm. or double sided tapes, because some of those come quite small as well. But like yeah. I said, you can use your glue. And also if you use your glue, just go over it with your finger, like spread it out and then it'll be quite flat. And then you know it's not gonna kind of ooze out anywhere else yeah. that it shouldn't. So now I'm just gonna take the backing off there. And then you're gonna grab, I'll grab this one before I stick the other one down. So this one, because the obviously the direction of this image is going to pull out from the right hand side. So you want to push this right up to the left here. Kind of hover it here first of all and just make sure you've got an equal amount and you've got an equal kind of white mm -hmm. piece at the top and the bottom there. And then I'm just going to stick that. And again, by keeping it butted right up, you know that this is straight. Yes. And then just lay that down like Perfect. so. And you can do a dry run. You can just see there that that slides and then that will slide oh, back yes. again as well. So give it, a, you know, like that. Yeah, wiggle <laughs> and then it. that way. Because sometimes you might get little kind of edges, you know, yes. sometimes on when it die cuts the um, the card stop. If you do that, you can see there. And once it's attached to the card, it will move nice and easily. Lovely. So then with this one, I'm just going to stick the mats and layers on before I stick it onto that next mechanism. And once you've done this a few times, it will just become second nature, you yeah, know, and it's, um, it, 
sorry, sorry. Debbie has said uh, so much easier than using the plastic sleeve method that yes. is the do-it-yourself yeah. one. I mean, that takes yeah. me, I, I love it, but it takes hours yeah. to do, doesn't it? You can also, with the square one, you can still um, wrap the plastic around if you wanted to. Oh, okay. Because um, actually I did try it on, you've mentioned it, where is it? Um, the... The original, uh, where was the quadruple? The quadruple is on. Um, Can't plastic. help you. <laughs> I can't even see it. Where, where's the I'll oh, come and have one? a rummage with you. Yeah, where could that have? <laughs> okay, okay, that's just baffled me now. Where that? Hang on, one more. Oh, there it is. So, if you see here, mm -hmm. see that moves out on its own. Yes, I see. That's yes, on, that's on the plastic. But it, it, a lot of people struggle with the plastic. Yeah. And that's why when I designed this one, I wanted to find a way to do it without... Both tabs. And also, I think we're trying to all do a little bit better for the planet. Yeah. You know, it, we're not using all those sandwich bags. So. Absolutely. <laughs> you don't have that. <laughs> oh, I need to stick this one on as well. It's just... So I'm using the Kalau for all of this just so they're nice and strong, those side pieces. Mm -hmm. And again, stick that one down. So that's going to be that way. Like what so. do you do with all your cards, Sam? Because you make so many for every collection. <laughs> I do give a lot out. Um, everybody gets a card at the end of each of my lives that I do each week. Oh, lovely. I send a card and my friends do have a lot from me. I so did get a Christmas buy... card from you. <laughs> <laughs> they buy us. They, like, they come and get a stash from me each time. Oh, brilliant. Okay. This is upside down. I'll do it that way because you want one to be obviously now pushed over to the left. Um, yep. Yeah, the left hand side. I'm sorry, the right-hand side, because this is going to pull out from the left. So, again, I'm just going to make sure I've got an even amount, like so. There we go. And, again, just do a dry run there, just to check that that's going to slide nice. Next, we want to add some foam. So, I've got these are the ones that I purchased from that other store, and they're just ready-made strips, but you can cut your own with by sticking your rolls of foam tape on the wax paper and then cut your own. And I've right. done that in so many videos. So don't worry if you don't have this thin foam, but it is quite handy. And um, yeah, it's just a bit quicker. Yeah, I'm I've done gonna... it before. I've then... cut it, um, yeah. put it on something. Flip it over and you're going to run two strips again along the top so and the bottom. So is this just keeping your card front and back away from the mechanism? Yeah, well, the middle piece, yeah, um, and it will also help this sliding because there is a bit of dimension there if you, you know, you've got that folded bit of cardstock plus yeah. all those, you know, three layers there as well. And you can stick things on the side um, once we do that a bit. I've mentioned it again, but you you don't want to add too much dimension on this because obviously it might catch when you push yeah. them in, you know, pull them in and out. Mm -hmm. But I have, you know, obviously stuck them down, but I wouldn't put anything with any foam on the sides. But if you've got nice stamp sentiments and just stamp directly on to this, instead of it being a patterned layer, it would be a stamp sentiment yeah. and there's nothing going to interfere at all. Lovely. So again, both sides, top and bottom, you're adding your foam. Okay. So just finish this one here. Uh, let's just see if we've got any foam. questions. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Uh, just so many people saying they love it. They can't decide between the circles and the squares. It's Karen Ball. <laughs> um, Maureen York saying must get them. Um, Janet Morrison says she has a Sam original too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sam original, that's nice. Okay, so now I've got one of my circles. So this is the back one, okay? And then it doesn't matter if you stick your left one down first or the right one. It's up to you. So I'm going to go with the left. It just feels a bit more natural. So I'm going to take the backing off of the foam here. And then you want to stick this in the circle. And just make sure that you've got a nice even amount in so each it corner. It fits perfectly, yeah. Yeah, it will fit in there perfectly. And just stick that down. And then I'm going to get that middle size. So whether it's slightly smaller or the same size, but you want yeah, another circle. Okay. Take the backing off again. And then we're going to sit that one over the top. And that will just... I will recap these seal. offers, everyone. Someone's asked, but I'll do it after Sam's finished this part of the demonstration. I don't want to get you... <laughs> I want you to be able to watch this. Then you get the next one. Take the back off first. So again, just remove that release paper. And then this one, I can just see the little tips of the one underneath, so it makes it easy to line up. That's why it is nice to use a slightly smaller circle because it does help oh, good tip. when you go to line all this up. Okay. I have thought about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you put um, a lot of thought into everything. And then 
take the backing off of this one and then you're going to finish it now and all you've got to do with this circle is line it up with the bottom circle yes. so again and circles are easy to line up just focus on one area and then you know the rest of it's all going to go where it should and you'll see there you've got your two little side pieces that will stick out and now we can start building this scene so i'm going to grab this one which i cut slightly smaller it doesn't matter if it's the same size because once the frame goes on anyway it's going to cover so just add some glue there now this i do need to make sure so i've got it up the right way so like that and then with this frame i'm going to add some foam just around the edges so again i've just cut some thinner strips there if you don't want to go all the way around just put a few you might have some little foam dots or something you know mm -hmm. put those you don't have to go around every single no. part of it it's but really it's nice and bendy piece. because it's thin isn't it it is and once you take the release paper off the top it, it kind of goes back yeah. into shape but if well, you're doing a shaker card you would want to cover all of it of course yes fill in the gaps um, and yeah. while you're just going around that i'll just recap these offers as jane kennedy yeah, sure. has asked um, so the collection that Sam's working with right now is the double slider collection. If you spend over £30 on anything from the double slider collection, you'll get a free 6x6 paper pad that coordinates. Uh, that will, should show up in your basket in the, at checkout, so you can just opt to put that in. Um, and then if you're choosing anything from the, um, the Everyday Pop-Ups collection, sorry, two launches, it's thrown me. <laughs> two, uh, there's two bundles over on Craft Stash. They're big bundles which contain everything with the cat and the dog and the mechanism and everything, or everything, sorry, everything with the cat or everything with the dog. Those larger bundles, you're going to automatically get 25% off. If you go and see the RRP against the price we're giving you today, that 25% that has already been taken off for you, but they will, I'm no doubt, go very, very quickly. Okay. That's looking so wonderful. Now. I'd just like to move this around and it's, it's, it's always this one here that I kind of focus on. I like that to kind of be mm -hmm. like, I don't know, in a, I kind of like it there. I think I'm going to go there. So this yeah. one will sit perfectly with a little bit of a white frame, like so. And again, if you've put some acetate behind that and sequins in there or little, you know, shaker pieces, then this one here I've cut using, again, from the additions. So I've just used the larger circle with that one in it, you know, at the same time, run it through at the same time, and it will give you this lovely little fla flame, little frame. Do you know, I've, I've spoke so much this week. <laughs> you need a rest. Not, Have you got a I've weekend off? Physically, uh, yes, but I've not physically seen a real human. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> this is the closest well, we get. I've seen, my, I tell her, I've seen my sister and my parents, but it's, um, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. this, like, I'm just talking in a room <laughs> no one else around. Well, it is, isn't it? Until we can actually get out. Hopefully it won't be much longer really now. It's really weird. Oh, I know. Can't wait. So just put a little blob of glue there on each of those little scallop bits. And then I'm just going to line this one up with the edge of the blue. And it just really makes that all pop. I love it. There's so many comments. I can't keep up with them. I'm really trying to just scroll through and see. <laughs> Thank um, you, everybody. How long is the offer on Lou, please? Um, usually it's about a week until next yeah, Friday, Thursday, that, next yeah. week. So okay. uh, double check. The details will be there for you. Um, if you go on to, actually the best way, do you know what I find? The quickest and easiest way of finding out the terms and conditions for any of the offers is signing up to the Craft Stash emails because when those offers come through in the morning if you scroll down to the bottom of the email there'll be a little bit a small print but you know it has to be otherwise it's a bit boring isn't it um <laughs> i read that and that tells me how long each offer in that email goes on for and it's really handy so it's, for me it's the quickest way to find out okay so i've just stuck my special friend again that sentiment comes in the edition set and then let's get my tray of goodies and let's start popping some of our friends so i've got to have the fox and the badger. <laughs> oh. So they're going to go. Do these have names? Do you know what? I haven't really. The only oh. ones I've kind of named was the... No, I know. I was thinking this. It's just... It was really difficult because I think of a lot of those Disney characters. So they're kind of... You know, when I think of these kind of things. But of course. I just... And I think of Wind in the Willows for the badger, fox. Yeah. You know, they just were called what they were, weren't yep. they? So... Oh. Um, but feel free to name them. The only ones I've kind of really named are the dog and the cat because they're mainly after my nan because the dog was Judy. But obviously it depends on what you use to colour um, the, the the images in because obviously course. they're chain, They're easy to personalise, aren't they? Absolutely. 
So let's just pop one of these. Let's do, let's just trim that down. I'll just put the stand together. We have it confirmed, done. everyone. The offers are valid until the 5th of March at midnight. Um, yeah. Or whilst, of course, stocks last. 5th of March, that is next Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. Friday. It's exactly a week. First, Monday the 1st. Must be Friday the 5th. Okay. You can tell we're live and I haven't checked this out. <laughs> So those are in the same, I'm trying to, see when you've got both the stamp sets, you just end up mixing all of them together, but I'm gonna add the dragonfly, just pop a little bit of glue. And then what I will do after the live, and I'll take photos of this and Maria will post it up, but I'll add some glossy act and some Nouveau drops. So that it looks like berries, you know, on these, I'll probably use a nice red color or something. So, and it helps you kind of just, you know, bring it together a bit more, but also within the additions, you get all the extra sprigs. So see them all here. So I've got loads cut here. So what you can do is start feeding in. So I've got the same colour green here. So we can pop, you know, that one in there. Lovely. Um, you've got, yeah, we've got another one here. Let's do that one. Just take a little bit off the edge. Just pop it underneath there like so. And you can do more around there. And also if you've got the woodland scene as well, you will have the little toadstools. And all I've done there is I die cut them in red and white, paper piece them together, and then just used a gel white pen to Aww. create the little spots on top. But because they don't go with this addition, so I, you know, I'm not going to put it in here. But if you've got both, I mean, just look. Once you start adding, you know, those in as well, it just really does oh, build look at up them. that thing. They look lovely. Um, okay, I think I'll leave it there. Let's get the stand done, and um, and then we can. Madeline Munro has said, I really, really love this card. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Owen Sparkle said, Bob the Badger. Bob the Badger, that's Bob a good the Badger. one. These are the kind of cards that I can never give away. Like they just, I just like to look at them displayed in my craft room for a while. And then a friend comes in and is like, oh, I love that. And then I'm like, okay, you can have it. <laughs> just take it. <laughs> okay, so with the stand, you will have one, two, three, four score lines towards well in my case on the left hand side is how i'm holding it but you've got like a, a thin small tab you just want to fold that so it's a mountain fold then you're going to create a valley fold then another mountain and then another mountain i've just seen someone saying about envelopes there i have box envelope tutorials on my channel so they will fit into there um and you can also pop them in like bouncier envelopes there's lots of box envelope um tutorials that you can but find but you need that extra width in an envelope presumably well with the circle because all you'd have to do is just pop it on the angle like that so they would fill the the gap oh, okay so that yes. will fit that will fit into my six by six box envelope right. um the square one i need to double check okay so just going to run that along there and then you're just going to bring this one over and pop that one on like so and then fold the whole thing flat you see there you've got your stand so you can use that on anything and then i'm just going to add my glue and i always was forgetting but with the circle one just add it about three quarters of the way because obviously you, you see the bottom corners because of the shape yeah and then i'm just going to hold this one up and just bring it so it just runs flush with the bottom there mm -hmm. of the stand and you just see the sides like so and it's nice and wide so it can hold the height if you have it pulling out from the top okay. and also the bottom but now it's still just kind of drying but you'll see it stands so you've got all that space on the back to write your message yep or you've got the space on the backs here to write your message Great. as well but that's the finished circle that's circle just come together. together so quickly even with you talking us through every step <laughs> it looks amazing thank you so, oh, so thank much. you you're um, welcome so, uh, as we said, you're going to have tutorials everywhere, anyway, with yep. these. Um, there are instructions on the back of the double sliders that you can follow if need be. I uh, shouldn't need to, but at the moment, if you're spending over £30 on those double sliders, you're going to get, or have the opportunity to get, the free 6x6 paper pad as well. And Sam's just, thank you, just showing us a selection of... Just a few there. Oh, they're <laughs> lovely. For the others to come back and then like I said I've got photos a lot of these I'm going to be sharing the photos on um, social media and I've got a load that has been sent to craft stash as well so they'll probably be sharing them as and when but there is just heaps of inspiration something a little bit different and something that I hope everybody enjoys 
lovely. Thank you ever so much. I love that you've got, you've just got two collections here and you, sort of one mechanism really. You've got different shapes, but so many different styles of cards with them. Just, yeah. you, it's just never ending. <laughs> lovely. Well, that has been dead on an hour. Thank you so much, San. That was good going, wasn't I, it? It was, was it was really in. good. Um, I have a few more things to announce, namely some winner's names. So um, Sam, if you want to hang around while I do that for a moment, so you can do a little clap or something in the background. Yeah, it'd be sure. amazing. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, they were beautiful, weren't they? Winners, I know you've all been waiting to see who has won a selection. Now, we're giving away over £105 worth of prizes. That's going to be a couple of products for each person from one of the new two ranges. Okay, so, but don't despair. If your name isn't read out in a moment, you can pop over to craftworld.com and you can sign up or you can enter the big super weekly win. Now this is going to be, let me just check the prize, 135 pounds worth, and that is one prize, one person, okay? So that is going to be, again, a selection of these new products from May to Surprise. So make sure as soon as I've read the name out, or not read your name out, pop over to Craft World. Um, before I do that, while I've got your attention quickly, I need to remind you though, Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, which I believe is the 3rd of March, at 2 p.m., Olga Directorenko from Paper Discovery has a free craft along for you. It's going to be here where you're watching right now, so make sure you catch her. Um, she's really excited because it's one of her first times live demonstrating, so please be there to welcome her. You're going to absolutely love what she's creating for you. Okay, names. The first one is, I need a little drum roll, Jen the Wren. If you are Jen the Wren, I hope that's not one word, but I think it's Jen the Wren. Congratulations, you are our first winner. And there was a little woo-woo from Sam there. <laughs> um, and then we've got Karen Beaumont as well. Well done to Karen. And I don't know if you can hear Sam whilst she's not in shot, but she is shouting well done and clapping if you can't. Um, and lastly, Helena Stansa, congratulations to you as well. Uh, so like I say, if you weren't one of those winners chosen, please quickly pop over to Craft World and enter the big, big prize over there, £135 worth. Uh, so from myself and from Sam, Thank you so much for letting us launch to you the brand new Made to Surprise collections. They are so much fun. You've got the offer of the free paper pad with the double sliders. You've got the offer of 25% off the bundles with the everyday pop up So make sure you take advantage of those. And I will see you again live next week for lots more offers and such. So take care, everybody, from me and Sam. Goodbye.